Hi everyone, it's Katrina from PCSE. I'm going to give you a quick tour of how to complete a GOS4 on PCSE Online. So let's go straight to the screen. So we're going to log into PCSE Online and we're going to make a claim and it's a GOS4. So we need to fill in all the usual details um, that we would do normally on the paper form. So we have um, a patient that needs a repair to their glasses. To find the address, we just need to enter the postcode and do the lookup, select the correct address, and then also enter the patient's date of birth. And we don't know what their site test date was, so we can skip past that. Now, this is a repair for a child. Um, we didn't actually see evidence, so we tick the not seen box. Um, eligibility section is completed. And because it's a repair for a child, we don't need to complete why the, um, or how the loss or damage happened, sorry. But we go, do go straight on to the next section of the claim. So coming to the patient's declaration now, um, it's a child under 16, so the expectation is it's either a parent or carer guardian. Um, so we need to complete the parent's name. But because um, they are at the same address as the patient, then we've got this handy tick box. It saves us having to put all the address details in again. Um, and we click this, sign the declaration. And the reason for that is that will mean the system will check that we've got all the mandatory data before we then ask the patient to sign um, the claim. So if we have missed anything, then we would get a red flash to tell us um, there's something that we need to complete before the patient signs. We've now captured the signature and we then are ready to move on to the next section. So this is the supplier's declaration, which we would complete now when the patient comes back to collect the glasses. So this is a repair. It's very important to pause and make the distinction between um, a repair and re a replacement in terms of the GOS4 language. Um, so in terms of vouchers, replacement is when the glasses are being replaced in full, quite simply, and that's the only time replacement is used. Um, repaired is used for any other circumstances. So if it needs a new lens or two new lenses, um, if it needs uh, frame or part of frame, then the claim is actually for a repair. That's a very important distinction to remember and something that people may have got into different habits over the years. Um, so this was a distance pair of glasses, um, but it's actually a repair for a side. So we don't need a prescription entered because that's irrelevant to the value of the particular claim when it's just frame parts. It's just one side on this occasion. So once we enter the number of sides, then the frame, uh, sorry, the repair value is calculated. So that's auto populated with the value. There are no other supplements or other um, relevant bits to this claim. So it's very straightforward. That value then drops down into the claim section and the total claim becomes the £7.35. So as the supplier, we're signing to say that's what we're claiming. And then we move on to the patient declaration. So the final stage of the GOS4, the patient is there with us collecting the glasses um, against a child. So it's going to be, um, in this case, a parent collecting on the behalf, um, or signing on the behalf rather. And the parent again, has the convenience of the tick box to indicate that at the same address as the child, straightforward and now ready for them to sign. Got that QR code again, sign the claim, accept, we get confirmation the signature is accepted and then submit Confirmation is submitted and we're done. 
So easy, straightforward, no concerns that you're going to get your gos force rejected, all submitted, ready for payment, to be paid in the next payment run. If you would like a video of any of the other GOS4 scenarios, then please let us know in the comments. And if you have any questions about GOS4 or any other type of GOS claim submitting on PCSE online, then add a comment on that too. Thank you.